200 kilowatt hour battery pack, 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds, 0 to 100 in 4.2 seconds, quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds. So is the Tesla Roadster from 2020 the fastest production car ever built? Watch this video to find out. I'm super excited about this car not only because it's the fastest production car in the world or if it will be it makes me super happy because we will see larger battery packs on future electric cars so basically Tesla is working to improve battery technology battery packs and uh, electric range so in the future we should see higher ranges in future electric cars that's what boggles me and I hope to see it pretty soon it's basically the biggest concern in electric cars and if Tesla manages to obtain almost 1000 kilometers electric range on the highway, I'm speechless. So it has three electric motors, two on the rear, one in the front. It has all wheel drive, but we don't know the actual power output of the vehicle. Knowing that it reaches 100 km per hour in just 1.9 seconds and it will be the fastest production car ever built and Elon Musk claimed that it will be faster than 250 miles per hour in terms of top speed, I'm assuming that it has at least 1000 horsepower. I'm just assuming. I like their marketing though, Elon Musk claimed that the car has 10,000 Newton meters but that's actually the, the torque from the wheels not from the electric motors. Even in a normal car with a 3 liter diesel engine, at the wheels we have a much much higher wheel torque compared to the torque of the engine because we have gears, we have a final drive ratio and everything is multiplied and amplified. So that's harsh marketing. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that it's super aerodynamic, the Tesla Model 3 is the most aerodynamic production car ever built so far, it has 0.21 drag coefficient, an average car has around 0.30, the Lamborghini Huracan for example which is a sports car has 0.34 because it, it needs a lot of air to suck in to cool down the engine and I think from what I've seen from the pictures uh, the grills, the, the front uh, is closed, no air vents, no nothing. So knowing that there aren't any air vents, but it's a sports car, so it, it's small. It's not that aerodynamic from its shape. I'm assuming that we should see around 0.25, even a 0 0.20, 26 or 0 0.27 drag coefficient. And it's far better compared to the Bugatti Chiron and the Lamborghini Huracan, which both have around 0.34. So that's another interesting thing to see in the future because uh, it will help it achieve a higher top speed as Elon Musk claimed above 250 miles per hour. To be honest, I don't know how they will manage to achieve 1.9 seconds because it's almost impossible. It, it's like they're breaking the, the laws of physics. But at the moment, it's just a prototype. And until we see the actual production car, we'll see if they manage to achieve their goal. And again, as a short summary, we have a car which has four seats, it's all-wheel drive, it has a lot of power and it may be the fastest production car ever built and it's super efficient, 1000 kilometers or 600 miles on one charge. The battery packs are large and it's amazing if we would see that on a tiny sports car. I'm super excited to see even more innovations from Tesla and from other car manufacturers. I'm super excited to see this in 2020 when it will come out and for the moment just let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more automotive content and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.